yeah, yeah. I wanted to give you an update on uh, what's going on, and I haven't done a video, so this you know better time than now. I'm baking a cake. I never saw him moving in the next room, but I'm baking a cake, and uh, I have a few minutes before it rings, and uh, I went to get my immunotherapy today. Today is the 6th of August, and uh, I had went last week to uh, my PCP in regards to my right shoulder pain, which is going right through my shoulder all the way through the back side. And it was, it was suspect, I was suspecting that it's called a, a pancoast tumor which resides right at the top of the lung and pushes on the shoulder. So I had an x-ray done last week. And, uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Someone's at the back door. <laughs> at the back door of the... But uh, Jeffrey's feeding the cats. Too many interruptions. It's hard to concentrate. Okay, peace is in the valley. <laughs> he went back in the house. Not that I don't want him to hear what I'm saying, but he doesn't need to hear what I'm saying. He hears it all the time. So, um, um, x-rays showed clear, didn't show any in that, and abnormality. And, uh, so, I mean, I tried to discuss it with him, with the oncologist as to the, ex the extreme nature of the pain. Like right now it just aches because I already had an attack. And I used ice packs, and I got over the attack. When I'm struck with it, it literally is a searing red rod run, running right through my arm, right through my shoulder and down my arm and up my neck. And it radiates behind my ear like fire. And I could scream, and it doesn't help. It doesn't go away. And I try to find any position possible because I have full range of motion. It's not a rotator cuff tear. So he ordered two CT scans, stat, <laughs> which means in a month. No, it means in two weeks. So in two weeks, I get a CT scan of the cervix and the thoracics. And uh, then uh, taking it down a little bit, cerv cervical to th thoracic. Um, and he's going to uh, use... And then the two weeks later, he does another one, and then they're going to do a comparison check to see if there's any changes. And in the meantime, I get another bottle of pills. <laughs> yeah. So I can laugh now because I'm not hurting. You know, it's just an ache now. But uh, when it strikes me, I have to get in bed, and I just have to just lay there and take it and moan and groan and complain and, and say all kinds of Jesus stuff. <laughs> I do. I say all kinds of Jesus stuff. Start cussing Jesus, because Jesus Christ is a cuss word in his own right. Uh, when you cut yourself, or you hurt yourself, and, or someone does something stupid, or and you use that as an expression, it's always a curse word. Most people don't realize that. So... Now, it, it doesn't mean that I'm using God's name in vain, because I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. If he, if he's a, if he's birthed from a human mother and the bright morning star, then he is a Nephilim child. There he is. So he's, uh, he's closer to the sons of God. I mean, to the sons of the son of man than anyone would be. 
through the bright morning star. Because the morning star. Yeah, I could go through that all over again. I repeat it too many times. I'm celebrating. Yeah, I'm taking in a little smoke in my lungs. That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's not what's causing the problem. No. So it could be that uh, I do have some cervical problems going on. Uh, neck problem. It's radiating. And I still have a, a numb shoulder that feels like a, a sunburn because they cut the nerve when they did the dissection. Right here, they cut my neck all the way down. So, hmm. And it, if it was a tumor here, they would do radiation and then also do another dissection. And this is more complicated. Well, of course, I think the neck is seriously complicated because I could get paralyzed if something has to be worked on, you know. So we'll find out. So on the 21st and then on the 30th. And then they can compare the two scans and meet with the doctor. Although I meet with the doctor again next week as a follow-up for pain management to see if I'm still alive. <laughs> if I didn't drop off the earth because it's too painful. It's much too painful. So as you can see, my hair is growing, thankfully, and uh, which makes me look more human, I think. You know, I find it hard to find my own identity within this look. <laughs> it's not my look. I don't know who that stranger is in the mirror. But uh, that bell should be ringing here shortly. So I'm, I'm, I'm very shocked at everything that's going on, from the Trump shooting all the way through to the VP thing uh, with Vance. But now the Kamala and the whole narrative changed, you know, how the media is now on board with this glorious Kamala uh, doofus. And now she picked Walls, this crazy man, who is calling VP Vance weird. And we know that he's projecting his truth outwardly. So he's the weirdo. That's so sick. Because he pushed legislation to put tampons in boys' locker rooms, middle school and high school in Minnesota, on the taxpayer's tab. Well, if there's a female in transition in a boys' locker room, she would be on hormones, and she certainly wouldn't be menstruating, would she? So is it a sweat pad? Is that what it is, a sweat pad? Well, I think the kids can bring their own, you know? It's ridiculous. So anyways, I think the man's sick. I think the whole thing's sick. And the thing is, is that I know that they stole the election through fraudulent uh, voting machines, Dominion. Yeah. And they're going to do it again. And they pulled it off the first time. And it would have been a battle to convince anybody otherwise, but now they should see the truth of what the Biden administration was set out to do, but to continue what Obama had set forth, and that was to destroy the family unit with yes, we can, and defile or deface the child with change. With change, that was, that's was his moniker's. And his job was to also uh, steal from the purse, steal from the purse, and then take our guns. Well, he stole from the purse, but he failed to take the guns. So he was a failure. He's a false prophet. Truly, based on his religion, he's a false prophet. Once you're a Muslim, you're always a Muslim. There's no conversion. There's no conversion outside of Muslim. If you ask any Muslim, is there a conversion outside of uh, Islam? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. 
There's no such thing. So Obama, I'm sorry, is Muslim. And he practices other religions only because he's a false face with a false name and a false birth certificate. Yeah, with a false heritage, of course. And it's also true. And I, I believed back then when Trump said that he would get to the bottom of that birth certificate thing, that he would have had the truth show American public that he is not an American and he didn't qualify as a president. No, he could be Secretary of State, he could be anybody, but he cannot be president. No, because he's not American born. He even got his education through a foreign uh, foreign student uh, loans, you know, those sort of grants. I was going to scold kids for fighting one another. <laughs> they stopped. So, uh, yeah, everything's so twisted. So I can only hope to last to December just so I can see what goes on. But, and then I'll just wave from on high, right? <laughs> That's not how it works. No. Those who die or perish now, they will resurrect on the first resurrection. But that's in a thousand years. That's at the end of the book. Everything that we have to say is for the future. Everything that we get to reveal is for the future. So that they can overcome. Man. But it's still based on the Christ. That's the book. We don't want to change it. We don't want to add unto it or take away from it, but we can realize in the living word what it actually means in this day, this day and age. Like, especially like in the book of Daniel, when it says that the city and the sanctuary shall be destroyed. Well, that word sanctuary, that's, that's Mr. Walls. Yeah, that's Minnesota all the way, just as it is New Mexico, just as it is California. Sanctuary cities and sanctuary states. Yeah, and, and the predominance of Minnesota is red. It's because the Twin Cities hold that. Oh, I think I saw a reading about that, something about twins. Oh, it was Scorpio reading, wasn't it? I think so, Scorpio reading. Yeah, I'll have to look for that. Maybe I can pin it with this video. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, that was interesting. Seems like all the readings right now are not, Usually I pick up on it, like something going on in my life or, you know, something, some validation of my life in the readings. Because it's the Torah as it is Torah, as it is the reader is intuitively giving guidance. That's what Torah means, guidance. So we seek guidance in our living word, in our living world. Yeah. I mean, we can't take it from the written and if it's talking about the past. To extrapolate you have to realize what that is how it correlates how the cycle keeps repeating itself keeps repeating itself yeah and speaking of which we're going to reach that 888 <laughs> lion's gate because 2024 is an eight now in in context to that date we could talk about just that date but the the month this whole month power and control. This is the manager's number. This is the businessman's number. This is uh, this is the ability to make a sacrifice so as to get the work or get the projects or work or whatever uh, uh, enterprise you have going on uh, forward. And if, if that sacrifices employees, they do that. Yeah, they just start cutting employees, cutting employees. So the whole month, the whole month of August, that sacrifice can take place in that in that managerial uh, business owner's domain because they're the, that they sacrifice their own time, they sacrifice their own lives, as it's as it would seem, forward, so that the company or the corporation or the idea. And go forward. It's a greater thing than an individual. 
It's business. Business. Yeah, so here we have the stock market. Foozy thing going on, right? <laughs> so good. I got my nose running. <laughs> so uh, the eight with the eight, the year, the month with the year. <laughs> that creates the 14. I, I'm sorry, the eight and eight is 16. It creates the 16, which is a seven. So it's internal. It's inside. So be, is the 88. It's an inside job. It's an inside job. Yeah, it has to do with inside. It's uh, it has to do with intel. It has to do with um, yeah, intelligence. So it's intel, and of course we know that's fake news. So it's fake news. That's what they're gonna. That's the eighty-eight is gonna present itself as fake news. Intel, yeah, it's the B system. So intelligence would be that negative shadow portion of it. Yeah, the beast with intelligence, come on. Yeah, like ravaging the wolves, yeah, that sort of thing. That's how it presents. Now, with this lion's gate, here we have a beast in itself, which should represent the earth in the four living creatures that faces the lion. But also that chapter 13 would reveal through having teeth as a lion. Yeah, speaking blasphemy, right? So um, great blasphemies. Here we have the 888. Now that's the 24. Yeah, that's a man. Yeah, it's a man. It's a number six. But it also has a lot to do with our fertility. It has to do with what's going forward in a forward motion. So of course, what's going on forward is the election process. And so we have this number six, which has to do with family and nurturing. That's what the presentation should be. But then this seven steps in onto it. The 88, which created the seven, steps in uh, to get to that uh, eight again. Right? Yeah, which makes the six. Right? Yeah, makes the six the man. So... The presentation of the 888 has to do with the why. The question, who is the Son of Man? It has to do with the Son of Man. Yeah, that he may rise up amongst this turmoil, one would hope. If not, then maybe opening you up, opening all of us up, to the fact that it is the man, the 24, you know, the seven upon the eight. I almost said six because of today's date. <laughs> I threw myself off. But how interesting. Yeah. The man. Money. That's their man. That's their man. Where money is their man, Mahal. Superiority is their God. Yeah, because of the abomination that causes desolation. Yeah. Yeah, I saw JFK, uh, words from JFK, you know, and they wrote that he had mentioned that all radioactive materials must be eliminated off the face of the earth. But he said that Israel should be prevented from having nukes. That's very important, and I believe it, because it's the beast, as it is Judaism, it is Zionism, and that's what JFK was talking about, Zionism. That's what we're looking at right now. And so along comes LBJ, takes his hand, and takes the position. Well, how easy it would be for Walls to do the same thing. He's more radical than Kamala. So if they steal the election and then we get our voices shut down, yeah, his neighbors are turning on neighbors, you know, because he set up a hotline or whatever he wants to do. So that people can, you know, do the swastika thing on people. 
I don't know. He could easily take out Kamala and we'll have the worst of the worst of the worst of them all. But in, in, in keeping with the book, the first seal was the white horse. The rider upon the white horse is Trump. Yeah. He is given a crown because he did not fall down. No, and he's given a bow. He goes out to conquer and to conquer. And VP Vance, his birth name is Bowman. So we have the first seal broken right before our very eyes. And that was in the month of, of July, July. And now we're in August. Now we're in the eight. And so now we have to be presented with what? The red horseman before the black. And so, well, we know he came to bring division. That's what he came to bring. And uh, he wants us either on the right hand or the left hand. He wants us either hot or cold, not in the middle. You know, so I may have to step up with this one. Hold on a second. I got to shut this window and check on my timer. I guess I can pause it. Did it reset? Oh, it's ticking. Welcome back. <laughs> I took my cake out of the oven and um, I listened to a video that was a music a music clip. It was really cool. And I have to leave comment because I consider her a very good friend. Even though I don't know her, I listen to her videos and I really appreciate them. So I left comment. And uh, yeah, it, it brought to mind... Um, some of the some of what I was saying, how we can experience the truth through the book of Revelation if we can see the truth that we're living today, if we can see that there actually is a Jezebel at work, not only a spirit of the Jezebel, but a real Jezebel. And the likes of the walls, which really is beyond me, I can't believe that Minnesota would could tolerate such a thing. But when you look at the demographic and having such a great city that overshadows in legislation and they stole the election, it's so obvious. And the Floyd, the George Floyd fiasco, you know, I can't bereave. Yeah, can't bereave. Yeah. And the whole notion behind all of it, that clearly, I would even call it a false flag that was purposefully done because the cop's name was Chauvin, which is like chauvinistic. And I did the whole number sequence on that in a previous video. You don't have to watch previous videos. I had lost my mind in all, all of what was going on for the past three and a half years, obviously. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I lost my teeth. I had to get them rebuilt. I had uh, then it was just the loss of my health. And you would think that it's God sending me a message telling me that I better repent. But that's not true. If God wants to snuff me out, he'll do it in a second. Yeah. But of course, there is someone out there that does want to snuff us out if we could open our eyes. So that was part of the comment I left about paradise, that most people are unaware of what paradise is, that this is paradise, or what is left of it. Yeah. And those who rise up, rise up from the grave, from the sleep, from their sleep. So they open their eyes, they awaken from their sleep, their slumber. They realize what's going on, and they realize that this is paradise or what is left of it, because that's what we're being accused of, is destroying paradise. So we rise up and we accept the judgment that comes. We do, we accept the, the dragon. We accept that his millennial reign is on earth. We accept that it's actually President Trump. Yeah, it is. The stage of this world is 
heaven. Didn't you know that? And the lawlessness that's taking place in heaven creates war. And it's the red horseman that rides. Yeah. And uh, we're red, white, blue. So it has a lot to do with the red serpent as it does with the white and the black serpent. And the black serpent's going to come along right behind the red serpent and knock it all down. The price or the the uh, the cost of goods and services. We should hope that such a depression, oppression, and manipulation will not harm the oil or the wine. That's what they're told. The black horseman that rides. And that's the anointed. That's the holy people and the elect. And that's the new sons of God. 144,000 new sons of God. So on top of the new sons of God, we have the anointed. Those people who have accepted their judgment. They're going to be anointed. They're, they're going to be washed clean. Their garments are washed clean. They've accepted the truth that Yeshua has risen from the grave. And that the Lamb has finally taken a hold of the seals, of the, the scroll. Obviously, there goes one of the seals now. The white horseman. The next one is the red. Then the black and then the pale. And you know the pale is going to be the release of the uh, chicken flu flu. Probably by November. Which will shut down all the election. Whatever. However, they can manage to either cheat and steal the election like they did before or cause such a, a, a horrible situation that we can't conduct uh, the election. Could be that the power grid went down and everybody lost all their power and their infrastructure. Didn't that just happen as a test run? <laughs> Didn't affect me. Yeah, I was kind of wondering what it was all about, but yeah, shut down banks, shut down everybody, didn't it? So I'm not trying to take away from the book of Revelation, and I'm not trying to add on to it. No, this is Revelation. The testimony, it's his testimony. And who is it? Jesus Christ. It's the Christ. It's the dragon of Revelation. Yeah, and he's bound in chains. He's bound by his own word. And if he's going to be bound by his word, then those who are alongside of him or against him are going to be bound by their word. Yeah, we can look at these people now. We Years ago, you didn't ever find out all this trash shit, tampons and boys' bathrooms. We didn't find that trash shit. No, we didn't, because it was hidden from us, and now all knowledge is made known. Yeah, thanks to this little glass case. So here's the arm that's in the glass case. The army is in this glass case. The army, or what you arm yourself with, is truth, with knowledge. You stand up against this, and that it is the restoration of the family unit. That's what we got to do. It's not about restoring their little households, big households. It's the family unit that has to be restored. And to look at what Walls did in Minnesota, bringing in sanctuary, bringing in all those migrants, and then declaring that he's going to give taxpayer money to these people. When he's not helping the veterans, he's not helping the homeless. No, how horrible. It's disgraceful. I mean, those kind of people need to be just kicked out of the country because that's not what we represent. That's not how we're represented. If you want to join some little uh, docent group to prevent other people from doing what you don't want to do, well, that's fine in your grassroots. But what we see here is pure lawlessness at the top. And it's an inside job. Yeah. No doubt about it. So all month, you know, 
the 88 presentation of power control with those dos eques and he was also what he got a dui also got a dui yeah so dos eques those sacrifices oh good six months probation six months without a license well i'm sorry that's ridiculous so in light of who he is it's going to reveal itself <clears throat> in light of the book of revelation it has revealed itself we just didn't understand what the wording was talking about we just didn't understand what it meant and so you can find yourself in the book of revelation by identifying your church or your behavior is it the teachings of the jezebel a thyatira or is it is it the uh, um Forget the name of the other one <laughs> that always gets me. The one that the, the the Jews that call themselves Jews but are not. Yeah, I have to go over those churches again. It's seven churches, and within you should find all of them within you to make proper judgment. So at one time or another, we have all taken a part of each one, but we're predominantly from one church or another with an angel of us. Yeah. One third of the angels probably equals seven. Yeah. So the dragon and one third of his angels. Yeah. You can find yourself there in the horsemen also if you understand the sins of the father. Four races of men. It's genetics. As the book of Revelation is a racist book. It most certainly is. It delegates upon each race. But with the mixing of the races, then expect to inherit the sins of many fathers. And they're spelled out for you. You would know what it meant internally. And in the way you behave. So, it seems like uh, absurd. No, the world is absurd. The offerings that they're giving us, their definitions of what is a woman, I mean, come on. If it has to go that far, then you know they're disrupted. You know that they're not, they're not in, in their sanity. No. Yeah. They're caught up in the beast system. They have the mark of the beast. Which reminds me of today's number. The eight with the eight, making the seven onto the six, makes a 13. It's a set-apart number. It's a ruach. It's there for you to hear a message. It's there for you to receive validation, to know that in your heart you know your truth. And it isn't about feelings. It's about truth of knowledge. Yeah. And yet, no ledge... It's for those who can really fly, as we're all understanding. <laughs> because they're, we're not alone in the heavens. <laughs> we're not. And we're not in charge down here. No. But we can take charge. We can rise up and stand up against that regime. And yeah. Voting is, in its most misrepresented way, is the only way, right? Well, not really. Not really. Do you accept? That's the question. Obviously, by putting it on the television screens, all these transgender people and all this defilement and all this mockery is to make it that way. You don't accept. No, you shut them off. Shut them off. Yeah. You shun them and you turn away from them. And you don't support them. You can't be a hypocrite. No, you can't be a hypocrite. Abortion is murder. Everybody's a hypocrite because of that. It needs to end. It's the daily sacrifice. That has to end. 
And if the infrastructure falls, of course it will end, unless those are doing some heinous acts in, in dark places, which is what the Democrats would say they're trying to prevent, if that's not true. Now, to protect the mother, giving her the rights over the life of the child? No, that's not truth. No, abortion is murder. Plain and simple. If you don't want the child, you give it away. The process of giving birth is natural God-given. And you had sex, and so that's what created a child. That's what creates children. So there's no two ways about it. You can't support it. And you can't support war either. You can't support war. So we can't support Israel. And we'd be hypocrites if we did. We would be. So anyways, I just wanted to let you know what happened to me. And that I'm going through a lot of very serious pain. And I probably shouldn't be smoking, but actually I'm, it helps me a lot. It does. It, it shuts the dreams off. Marijuana kills kills the dreamer. Kills the, I'm sorry, it kills the dream, not the dream. So I wake up every day refreshed. And I don't have to put up with the influx of all this programming. No, it just won't take. God makes me to forget. Yeah, and so I'm helping God. Yeah, I honor the mother and the father by having a good life. Yeah, that's how I honor. And understanding that the sky, the space, the universe is the matrix, the mother. It's the womb. And so we're within the womb. And so the father is the body, which is the soul, which rises up as a statue, which has given us forth through generations, which is the genitalia of the whole situation. Just as Eve is Adam's erection. Yeah, in other words, all of this was created by the hand of man. Yeah, through the influences of the man, of the soul, as it moves outward. But we know what happened to El. He fell and went to hell. That's the morning star. And he's the prodigal son which makes mankind the fattening calf. And we're all in consumption of one another. We're in consumption constantly from the moment we're born. This whole world is consuming, consuming the dead. Yeah. In remembrance. Yeah, because it's not what you eat that you become. No, it's what eats you. So what's eating you? That's the question. And that's what you shall become. If you hate it, you ate it. And it became you. Yeah. So don't be a hypocrite. No. So I hope you heard, could hear this. My voice is going out a little bit. And, uh, you know, I'm due to have another killer friggin' attack probably by tomorrow morning, by 7 a.m. It seems to hit me in the mornings. And uh, they're horrific. And I would like the doctor to see it happen. But instead he meets this bubbly, nice person who's smiling, who doesn't seem to be hurting at all. And I can't express myself enough to tell him how painful it is that screaming or crying does not help. And I can't find the relief until it passes. Then it does, which is really weird. So it's my arm of me, yeah. I'm a mechanical me, can I call that arm of me now that I have a phone? I, don't, I do. I've been using it just for my appointments to get picked up and stuff. Yeah, not for anything else. I don't do the internet on the phone. I don't do all that. People are playing on their phones. I don't have any of those. Got any of that? Apps. I don't put any apps on there. No. 
that's silly. But I still think that the SSA should uh, reconsider its helping support because the costs keep going up with over the counter stuff that I have to have. It gets so ridiculous. It really does. So now I'm on, uh, what is it? Um, Mucinex. <laughs> Can't remember these names. So I have to take over counter kind of Mucinex to help break up my lungs. Yeah, all the cred. So, yeah, now it's the time to get it out. Sure. And uh, since my immune system is being boosted, that's very important. And uh, my yard is decimated. I had to, you know, because of the pain, being racked with pain and being in bed, I just can't get out there in the front yard to water. And so the front yard grass is turning dry. Now the trees, they're okay. They've got eternal water and I gotta get out there and water, but it's been almost a full week since they've had water. I need to get out there. But in the back, I've been trying to keep up and I missed one day. And in one day, those baby um, um, avocados, they got zapped bad and uh, they may not make it. They're in the shade, but the heat took them. And then my big 11 year old lemon tree lost all its leaves. They just went crispy in one day and i know i watered him the day before so we're having this heavy solar activity and this i don't know it's just like moisture is just being drawn away yeah just drawn out of things and i know there's plenty of people in this world that are getting flooded floods here floods there landslides flooding flooding rain storms and not here mm -hmm. they said tornadoes and Arizona today? I don't know. We didn't get no storms. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I could use some rain. I really need the help. And well, the wall's already fallen. You know, I showed you that. So 12, 15 feet of that wall is gone. It looks terrible on the outside. I'm not going to do anything about it. I can't do anything about it right now. I just hope nobody steals my rocks. You know. Can't build a wall without rocks. But I do need to get them out of the way and make it cleaned up and put some kind of warning fencing, like orange fencing, you know, like construction fencing, to warn people, don't come near this wall, it'll fall on you. Because it ate my bell peppers and my chilies and my, it fell right on top of all those plants. And they had reached the top of the wall. Yeah, so they, they're underneath all that rubble, which is so sad. Oh, well. Tonight I fixed a peach pie, and it's fresh, fresh peaches off the tree. Um, and they're very tart, <laughs> but ripe. So I made a, a peach buckle. It's not pie, it's like cake. So I did two peach pies, one, in, one after the other, for the past two days. That takes a lot of peaches, so I got to use up a lot. And then the buckle doesn't take but two cups of peaches, so maybe about four peaches to make a buckle. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go have some peach pie. Please enjoy, and uh, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. It should be also very simple to understand. And if there is ever a question about how I see it, I would, I'll try to explain it to you, and, and especially through biblical terms. So you can grasp what's really going on in the stage of heaven. So you can see the play yas, the play yas. Yah, almighty Yah is no respecter if all of this is the creation of the prodigal son. Because the prodigal son received his inheritance and he exploited it. And then he got so angry over it, he destroyed it, destroying himself. So his father thinks he's dead, but yet he's wallowing in the swine. And we know that legion entered the swine, who then threw themselves in the sea as the sea of the people. And so religion, it's within religion that he shall awaken. Yeah. 
Seven is an L if you turn it over. Seven. Seven angels. And so here we have a parallel situation between two suns, a binary star system, the bright star above you and the morning star. Together again, they are the bright one by way of a sun, a new sun, a new sun that's lifted unto God the moment he's born, a blue star is born, only to come back red. Yeah. As he returns with the rod of iron. Iron is F-E, as it is red. It's fey, male. And so it has much to do with Mars, which will allow a new heaven and a new earth with new sons of God. Yeah, new sons, 144,000 new sons of God. I know. Who are sealed for this day, singing an old song, song as if it were new. And no one else could learn that song. Yeah, but the 144,000. And uh, we're not going to take away from that either. It's the truth. As an individual, if you did not receive from an angel a seal on your forehead, placing you into your house, then it did not happen. It did not happen. But it is happening. It has happened. Because soon in this book, we're going to realize that the angel says, wait, holding back the four winds, that the four winds are going to be released. And isn't that all of us? It's earth, air, fire, and water. So we're all under those, those signs, those attributes. Air signs, water signs, earth signs, fire signs. Now, I have claimed that the fire is not in the right as long as it's carrying um, the feathered rod, because that's sexual. Now, that goes into the earth. The buttered rod goes into the earth. That's where it grows. And the earth is holding the coin, and it shouldn't, because it's burying, it's burying the uh, investment that the Lord gave unto the civil servant, unto the servant, and he buried, he buried it instead of investing in it. And he's going to be punished for it by having it all taken away from him. So the good servant throws up the coin into the air. The air is the air who is in air. So it's the air sign is the coin. It's the inheritor who comes. And the sword, which the air is carrying, which is two-edged, has to go to the fire because it's as a flaming two-edged sword. And the fire is what not only anneals the sword, but hardens it through the water, the water, which never, ever changed. And the water runneth over, the cup runneth over. So we shall do greater things than he, we shall walk upon water. Yeah. Yeah, if you know what it represents, is that of the West. That of the dragon. Yeah, that of Christianity. Yeah, the Judaism as the black, as the earth, as the lion face. Yeah, we have the air, and the air is in the air, it hasn't arrived yet. Then we have Islam, which is the fire, which is the false prophet. Well, they are now because they carry the better rod and they need to repent or face the truth as they lose out they have to throw the butter rod down which means what famine pestilence the earth to receive it and then the water is christianity so we have judaism christianity and islam Three unclean with an air. 
an heir and an inheritor, the child, the lamb. The lamb with seven eyes and seven horns. He who's worthy to open the scroll, which is the inheritance held by the Godfather and not the Father God. So Trump is the Godfather of all of us. And none are found worthy to open the scroll. So the scroll is our constitutional rights. It's the Constitution. And we are Jerusalem spiritual. Yeah. I believe in that. And I believe the mask of us shall become a ruinous heap. Yeah. That false state of it's called intelligence. It's the beast. It's the earth. It's the blind. And as Islam is the red because it's the fire, as the water is white, the blue or the white would be the blue, and the air is the white. And how simple. And directions. Fire is the east, air is the south. The air is north, and the uh, water is west. Yeah. So this is so that we know where we're headed. Yeah. So anyways, I'm going to go have some cake. Enjoy the video. Take care. We'll talk again soon. Bye. Bye.